I was flipping through Amazon Prime trying to find something to watch, and I saw Anthony Hopkins' face on the cover of a movie called The World's Fastest Indian. Never heard of it until three days ago. I thought maybe this was the story of the first Native American motorcyclist or something, but it is actually the true story of a man from New Zealand named Burt Monroe, a 68-year-old motorcycle enthusiast played by Anthony Hopkins whose dream is to travel to the United States so he can enter his modified Indian motorcycle into the 1967 Speed Week Expo at the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah and try to set a land speed world record. I thought this movie was very interesting, and I recommend it highly if you don't mind a slow burn independent film, and you would like to see Anthony Hopkins masterfully embody a different person. Everyone loves a good underdog story, especially when it's based on real events. While it does have some intense and beautifully filmed races, most of the world's fastest Indian's runtime is dedicated to Hopkins just trying to get to the salt flats on time as one thing after another goes wrong for him. My only complaints are that it felt a little long and the musical score, at least for the first half of the movie, is the most generic documentary music that sounds like it came free with a seven day trial of a new video editor. I don't know why that musical score bugged me so much, but it really did. It can also be frustrating to see Hopkins hit one setback after another, but the last half hour of this movie is just fantastic. Unlike other slow burn movies, which usually don't have a lot of rewatchability, I think this is one that I would actually watch again. This will particularly appeal to people who are getting older, or maybe people who fear getting older, to let them know that they can still kick some butt even at the age of 68. It's a soft PG-13, there is some light, suggestive content, but overall there isn't anything really objectionable for those of you who may be on the more socially conservative side. If you have an Amazon Prime account and you're looking to watch something a little outside the box, then be sure to check this one out. <laughs>